I am so excited. Today is the day we are finally filming the audiobook for Cues. Now, I've been waiting for this day forever. I love recording the audiobook. I'm gonna give you a whole inside peek. But when they told me that we were recording it at the famous, historic Arlen Studios in Austin, I couldn't believe it. Willie Nelson's recorded here, Sublime, Ray Charles, Neil Young. So when they told me audio Cues was gonna be here, I was amazed. So I wanna give you a little tour behind the scenes before we actually start recording. So come on in. The amazing, the historic Arlen Studios. Wait. It gets better, come. Okay, here is the historic, the amazing Arlen Studios. So just take a look around. to do my vocal warm-ups, get ready for the day. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. I always want to hit every word right because I love audiobooks, so I just really want it to be good. When I was writing cues, I was actually thinking audiobook first because actually Captivate had more audiobook sales than hardcover sales, which is mind-blowing. So I wrote this book for today, which kind of puts a lot of pressure on. So I'm trying to just keep it cool and uh, do my best for you. This is my little booth, come on in. So in here we have so many things. So I have lots of ticks and ticks and trips. <laughs> Tricks and tips. It's gonna be a long day, friends. <laughs> if that's how the day is gonna go, we're in trouble. Here's what we do. So I wear um, uh, headphones so I can hear myself the whole time. It helps me hear little clicks in the back of my voice if we have to retake something. Uh, a little insider information that they gave me in the studio is they told me that you always wanna be four to six inches from the mic. So actually not too close. At first I was like all up in it and they were like, no, like give it some space, four to six inches. So four to six inches away. You'll see I usually stand for as much as I can. It gives me more breath. Another little tip is, so I learned this when I filmed Captivate. I originally brought Captivate, like the actual copy of Captivate in the studio. But then every time I flipped a page, you could hear it. So I learned you get a really big screen and you actually pull it up on the screen. That's actually a way easier because it's silent clicking. So that was a really interesting little uh, tip that I picked up last time. Learned that the hard way. What else do I have? Oh, I always try to bring a second pair of shoes. Since I stand for like five or six hours while recording, I'm in my cute boots now. Cute boots, cute boots. Little cowboy boot, we're in Austin, Texas. By the afternoon, my feet are dying and I have to wear tennis shoes. So I always bring tennis shoes or slippers or bare feet. And then by the end of the day, sometimes I take a seat. This is so weird. So this weird thing happens when you're recording where your mouth gets like dry in the back, especially if you're drinking coffee, which of course you're drinking coffee to give yourself energy. And then you hear these clicks. Apples actually help with the clicks. Something about the apple juice helps coat your mouth. So I always bring an apple and just eat a little bit of it every once in a while when I hear those clicks. Weird tip, but it works. Me, my, mo, mo. Me, my, mo, mo. Me, my, mo, mo. My mom, mom. Airplane mode, airplane mode. Everyone make sure that they're on airplane mode. <laughs> Me, my mom. <laughs> Focus. Yes. Oh, hi, morning. Good morning. How I'm are you? Just doing my warm ups. Forgive me. I heard that. I think it was quite right. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Here we go. <clears throat> 
Ooh. Penguin Random House Audio presents Cues, Master the Secret Language of Charismatic Communication. This is the author, Vanessa Van Edwards. To my husband, Scott, and my daughter, Sienna, I love your cues. Cues, noun, plural, the powerful verbal, nonverbal, and vocal signals humans send to one another. What good is a brilliant idea if no one listens? Every day I meet brilliant, creative, strategic thinkers held back unwittingly by their cues. Aspiring leaders, ambitious professionals, and entrepreneurs are not sending the right signals and are missing the signals being sent to them. They have ideas but don't know how to share them. Oh. They have ideas but don't know how to share them persuasively. They are underpaid and don't know how to prove their worth to a boss or client. They leave a meeting feeling as if it went badly, but they aren't sure why. Or worse, they finish an interaction thinking it went well, only to be blindsided by negative feedback later. Hundreds of subtle signals are being sent to you every day. Humans are social animals. We evolved to get along in groups, so we're constantly telegraphing information about our social status, our potential as mates, and our interactions. Similarly, we're constantly alert to social information others are sending to us. When you uncover the cues being sent to you, everything becomes clearer. You won't miss hidden emotions. You know who and what information to trust. You can communicate authentically and assertively. When you learn to send when you learn to send the right cues to others, people start listening to you, find you engaging, and are most interested in what you have to say. You'll also feel more confident going into your interactions. The right cues can take a lackluster conversation, meeting, or interaction and make it memorable. Send the wrong cues and potential opportunities are missed, doubted, and overlooked. Researchers have long known about the power of cues, and most people have and most people have some inkling that body language is important. But what most people don't know is how well cues predict behavior, personality, and achievement with surprising accuracy. But what most people don't know is how well cues predict behavior, personality, and achievement with surprising accuracy. Coffee, 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 coffee. Mm -hmm and lots and lots of snacks. Mm. Let's do it. Power cue number four, excel at explaining. Maria Konnikova had been playing poker for three straight days. The tournament started with 290 people and had dwindled down to just 62 players after 14 hours of play on the first day. By day three, Konnikova was sitting at the final table. She was up against Alexander Ziskin, a seasoned poker champion with two career titles who won over to one. She was up against Alexander Ziskin, a seasoned poker champion with two career titles who's won over 1.2 million. Meanwhile, Konnikova learned to play poker less than a year earlier. This was her first time this was her first time at the tournament. The cameras were watching Konnikova closely. A novice player had never made it this far this fast. After a few quick, dramatic hands, Konnikova got her opponent to go all in and came out on top. She won the entire tournament for a take-home haul of $86,400. Konnikova is not a professional poker player. She moved to the United States from Russia, attended Harvard and Columbia, and earned a PhD in psychology. In 2017, she decided to spend one year learning to play poker and wrote a book about the experience. Despite her lack of poker knowledge, she had one big leg up, poker research. Before beginning her journey, Konnikova unearthed a little known study that she felt could give her an edge over other seasoned players. Before I tell you what it said, let's play a little thought experiment together. 
Pretend I offered you $10,000 to watch a group of five people play poker. Your mission is to pick out the player with the best hand, but there's a catch. You have to choose which view you want to see in order to make your selection. Which would you choose? A. Head only. You can see the player's heads, but nothing else. B. Arms only. You can't see the player's faces, heads, or lower bodies, but you can see how their arms and hands move as they handle the chips and cards. C. Full body. You can see the player's entire bodies. Most people would choose C, full body. The more the better, right? Wrong. Researchers conducted this exact experiment and found that when they showed subjects full body clips of poker players, the subjects guesses. Researchers conducted this experiment. Mm. Researchers conducted this exact experiment and found that when they showed subjects full body clips of poker players, the subjects guesses as to how good someone's hand was were no better than chance. The next most popular guess would be A, head only. Facial expressions are telling, right? Nope, this answer is also surprisingly wrong. When subjects looked at faces, their judgments actually dropped to below chance levels, explained Konnikova. Skilled poker players are very adept at hiding telling facial emotions and head movements. Your best bet is B, arms only. How can this be? Do the hands have... How can this be? Do the hands leak some secret tell? Actually, yes, they do. One researcher found that confident players with winning hands have a fluidity of movement. They play smoothly. There are two important cues we can learn from Konnikova. The first is the importance of fluidity and precision of movement. Powerful and confident people don't waste energy on purposeless movement. They move with intention. They don't hesitate. They don't stall. They aren't jerky. They know exactly what they want. People with clear thought take clear action and have clear cues. Researchers have found this to be true beyond the poker table as well. Be sure to check out cues to hear what else they found. My feet are killing me. I gotta switch <laughs> shoes. I gotta switch shoes. I love my boots, but it's time for tennis shoes. We're uh, three hours in and um, gotta get a little break. I can already feel my voice is so tired. So I'm gonna try the apple. It really helps uh, kind of like coat your mouth and it's delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for taking the time to read this book. Thank you for learning with me. Thank you for trusting me with your time. If you enjoyed it, please share this knowledge with someone else. Gift this book to a friend, loan it to a colleague, give it to someone who needs it. I'm grateful for you. Yay! Oh. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Oh, this was an end to such a long day, but it was so amazing. And now I'm so excited. It gets to go to you. I loved recording all these examples and funny stories. I even do some weird voices in there for you. I hope you'll pick up your copy, whether that's the audible version or the hardcover or the Kindle. I wanna thank you for watching and listening for all these years, for subscribing to the channel, for liking the videos. I'm so excited for you to read this book and thanks so much for watching.